I get to do it my way. That's the one thing I like most about work for MT Select. It's a business. I'm in partnership with the company. That's how they treat it. The decisions I make is on me. If I make money, I make money. If I lose money, I lose money. But they don't say nothing bad. You make your own decisions. It's your success if you want to make it. On today's Recruiter Call Channel, we're looking at MT Select out of Montgomery, Alabama. MT Select has your success in mind with you in control of your future. They'll set you up to they'll set you up to run a solid trucking business with top of the line equipment for lease purchase and lease options. They have 100% fuel surcharge and earnings up to 70% of every freight bill plus zero down. No credit check, no mileage restrictions, and low weekly payments. They have Peterbilt's 579s and Kenworth's T680 for lease purchase to choose from. Again, 100% of the fuel surcharge, fuel, tires, and parts discount, plus a $500 safety bonus. Maintain, uh, they have a maintenance escrow to keep you rolling. With that said, let's see what else they have to offer in the call. Transport this is Blake and recruiting. Yes. Good morning. How are you doing today? All right. How about you? I am fine. Thank you. So I came across your uh what's this? Instagram post? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. The, the little the little video that you guys got uh uh got for that. All right, so me and uh and a friend of mine uh are looking or are interested in transitioning from you know, a company driver to uh, leasing. And then after that, we we're thinking about, you know, going full owner operations. So what I'm doing uh -huh. is doing my, you know, trying to do my research on certain companies that has a, you know, lease option program. And I, okay. uh, again, like I said, I came across your video and uh, I would like to know a little bit more, a uh, little bit more about the company. You mind if I mind if I talk to you a minute? Yeah, man. Uh, first off, you have are you a flatbed driver? Uh, no, but I do have flatbed experience. Okay, how much flatbed experience you have? Uh, I would say maybe about a year, give or take. Okay, how long ago was that? Uh, I'll say maybe about two years ago. Okay. And did you haul steel and lumber and building materials and pipes and I-beams, all that type of stuff? Uh, I would say more like uh, shingles, lumber, uh, nothing, nothing that is string. No steel. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so since you've not hauled that steel and everything, the only way we could get you in here is to start you as a company driver and uh, you'd have to go through our um, extended training program, our ETP program for securement and tarping on that steel and stuff, okay. um, since you've never done it. And uh, it basically, you come a week here to the yard, um, and uh, while you're here Monday through Thursday, you'll get on the yard of our top 10 commodities that we haul and get some hands-on securement and tarp training. Okay. And then Friday, they send you out with a driver for one week just to make sure you got it down. Okay. Um, you don't sleep in the truck or anything with the driver. They get you a hotel room each night. Okay. And uh, they pay you $1,300 a week for it. Um, now, uh, now you, we wouldn't be able to get you qualified for now you, MT Select or lease side um, uh, immediately because you don't have a year of hauling that steel and experience. Okay. Now have you, you ever been an owner operator before? No, 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 no. This this will probably okay. be my first time stepping into uh, into that realm. 
So that's why I'm trying to do, okay. uh, you know, me and my, you know, me and my guy, we, we're trying to do baby steps. Uh, we talked to, I gotcha. you know, we, yeah, we, we, we talked to a few, you know, a few lease option companies out there. And like I said, we're, we're just still doing gotcha. our homework. Uh, now you said I as gotcha. far as, gotcha. as far as company goes, how much experience do you require all together for the company side? Um, we just have to, we just got a year of driving experience. Oh, so, okay. 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 All right. So, uh, so of course, now, I, of um, course I got that. Now we got can that get too. you, yeah, we, we can get you moved over to the MT select side. Um, but they'll probably want you to stay, you know, um, at least a good six months over there, um, to make sure you have that steel down, uh, before you start your own business and everything, you know? Okay. So for the comp, so for the company side of things, uh, what would be my mileage pay or what would be my, uh, cent per mile? On I got the company you. side. Um, we we would start you out at fifty one cents per mile loaded and empty all miles, but you'll average somewhere around sixty three cents per mile or more, depending on how many over dimensional and how many tarp loads you get during the week. Okay. Usually, about half our loads are tarped, and we use the um, six six foot drop tarp, so they're not the heavy duty eight footers or ten footers. Mm -hmm. And usually, about every third or fourth load is an over dimensional load. Usually some pipe or I beam or rebar or something like that hanging off the ends. Okay, okay. And uh, now as far as tarping, do we? Do, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go oh ahead. Yeah. Uh, no, I've said as far as tarping, do we get paid extra for tarping, or is that included with the cent per mile that you just said mentioned? Yeah, uh, you you get paid like I said the fifty one cents per mile loaded and empty all miles. At six months, you'll go up to fifty-two cents. At one year, you'll go up to fifty-three cents, um, and then but you'll average somewhere around sixty-three cents per mile or more after you factor in your tarp pay and your overdimensional pay, because you get paid fifty dollars for each load you have to tarp. Standard tarp load sixty for overdimensional. Then you get paid anywhere from seven to fifteen cents per mile, um, depending on the size of your overdimensional is. Um, on top of your um, base bay. All right, all right. Uh, this is now on a company side. This is W two side. So uh, it, it is it, okay. Um, what, what kind of benefits you guys? What kind of benefits uh, you oh, guys we, offer? Well, we do pay practical mileage too, and not zip code to zip code. And we do have a guaranteed weekly minimum pay of twelve hundred dollars on the company side. We want you to make more than twelve hundred dollars a week. But if something out of your control happens, we don't want you to go broke either. Um, most of our freight stays east of I-35, a lot of the Midwest, a lot of the South, um, no force dispatch. Um, all of our equipment's three years or newer. They're all Peterbilt's and Kenworth's. Um, the company side comes with full benefits. Blue Cross Blue Shield Health and Dental Insurance is available after 30 days in the first of every month. Um, we've got 401k available. Uh, we've got $20,000 life insurance at no charge to you. Uh, if you're still over on the company side after six months, you'll start getting six paid holidays, start getting PTO time. Um, awesome. We've got driver of the month, driver of the year, recruiter of the year, clean inspection bonuses, P for P, pay for performance incentive pay, $10,000 okay. referral bonuses, all other ways to supplement wait, your Wait, 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 back, back, back it up very quick. Back it up, back it up. Because I, I'm... I'm a social media guy, you know. I I, I do have a uh -huh. I do have a good social media presence. And you said 10k for referral bonus. How is that paid out, bro? How is that paid out? We man? pay um, long you're on the company side. Mm -hmm. You'll get ten thousand dollar referral bonuses. Once you move over to the MT Select side, it's only twenty five hundred. Mm. Um, but for the company side, um, they pay you fifteen hundred dollars after the the person you recruit's first load, a thousand after thirty days, a thousand after ninety days. Then they pay you two hundred and seventy dollars and eighty three cents for twenty four months, as long as him and you are still here with the company. Okay, now I'm 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 thinking, I'm thinking, I'm 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 thinking if I you know if I talk about it because I want to pass this information on. But I'm thinking if I'm talking to a, a large group of people, so that's like if I get like like three, four people in a year, you can really supplement your income. Bro, we talking we we talking we we talking ten k a year. Wow, it's like yep. 30, wow. Okay, well, what are, well you already told me what kind of trust you guys uh, have, but what are they governing that? 
Um, 70 miles an hour. Okay. Any uh, any driver cam or cameras in the truck? Yeah, we do have cameras facing inward and outward. Um, the ones inward, you have to make go off, you know, brake too hard, hit a pothole, take a turn too fast, you know, something like that. They're That's, not sitting there just constantly. It's a deal, um, deal breaker. You know, running. <laughs> it's the deal breaker for some. Not all, but some. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You did mention force, no force dispatch. So if if I don't want to yep. go up into the northeast, nothing like that, I'm not, I'm not forced to go up there. Yep. All yep. right. A lot of guys, a lot of our drivers don't care to go up that way. Now um, <laughs> there are some good mileage runs that go up there, but right. um, just a lot of our guys don't care to go that way. All right, guarantee pay at uh at uh twelve uh twelve twelve hundred a week. Uh, how how often yep. how how often can I get home? Where you live, man? I stay in Ohio. And my and uh, you can get home every weekend. Oh, okay. Okay. If okay. you need to be. Um if you want to stay out and, and run, you can do that too. They try to get you a thousand mile run on the weekends when you do stay out to make it worth your while. Oh, okay. Do we get uh do we get uh do we uh, do do we get the hell? Do we get to take the truck home? Yep, you take the truck home with you. All right, pet and rider policy. For your home time. Pet and rider policy, and who's uh, and what's the youngest I can bring my rider? Okay, on the um, on the company side, it's eighteen or older. Uh, once you switch over to the lease side, it's twelve or older. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? And we do. We have to be at least ten years old. Well, so much for my partner. <laughs> uh. Now you already said uh, you guys uh, offer a um, referral bonus, but what's the sign-on bonus, if any? I got you. So if you have um, a year of uh, uh, six months of flatbed and at least one year of driving experience, and your six months of flatbed, you know, is you know hauling the steel and everything, right, right. Um, you get fifteen hundred dollars um, uh, the first week for orientation, fifteen hundred dollars the next week. Um, if we have to train you, you get paid $1,300 a week for your training because we have to pay the trainer. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that, that, some good information. I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, wow. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'm kind of speechless because this is the best information that I got thus far. Um, on the lease side after six months, you know, I, and I get the, the steel and everything else down, and I decide to go on the lease uh -huh. side. Uh, that will be become uh ten ninety nine, right? So I will be responsible for, for everything, including my benefits and stuff like that. Correct, correct. Okay, correct. okay. What? How much would the truck? Yeah. How much would the truck be a week? Um, once I flip over. Um, to that depending side. on what you got, we've got a lease purchase side and we have a lease side. So that'll be your options. You have the lease purchase one. Um, you buy the truck after the four, four and a half years lease is up and the truck's yours, you know. Um, on the lease side, you're just leasing the truck for four, four and a half years, um, but the truck's covered under warranty the whole time. Now, um, let, so let, let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there because uh, we, we talked about that in the, in the Facebook group. Um, the lease purchase side, I probably might be much more interested in that. But what do you say about mm -hmm. what what do you say about uh people giving uh turning up the nose just for leasing? That's that's pretty much paying you guys just to drive the truck. Right? Well, it's the warranty is the big thing on it. Um so the warranty is the big issue on it because the trucks with the lease purchase don't have any warranties left on them. Mm. So anything that, you know, happens to the truck, you're gonna have to pay for out of your maintenance escrow account, you know. Okay. Um out of the the the, the, the five sixty seven lease side Peter Bills we have, they're covered under warranty the whole time of the lease. So if you have a major breakdown or something, um, Peter Bill's gonna pay for it. You're just responsible for tires and normal wear and tear. Okay. And at the end of that lease, you either one turn the truck in get you a new new truck with a new warranty on it or two you will have the option to buy that truck from peterbilt they will sell it to you at fair market value oh, okay. um but okay. that warranty that warranty is that big thing on that gotcha. um, so, gotcha. Gotcha. You know, okay because a lot of you uh, know a lot of my conversations with with uh lease uh lease companies 
you know, uh, they it, it's it's sounded to me is like it's more like renting, like renting the truck, and and I'm paying you a a monthly rental fee to to drive your truck. So that's that's what yeah. you know. That's if you go ahead. If you've never been an owner operator before, mm-hmm. um, we uh, I would recommend the lease side um, first just okay. to um, get your feet wet. Okay. Um, so you don't have to worry about those major breakdown bills. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, you know, now if you get in there and you want to move, you, know, you, you get in there and, you know, get used to it and everything and see how everything's going to work and how much money you can make and you can put behind for your, for your maintenance and you know, all that then, then, you know, Hey, then get ready to go buy your truck, you know, gotcha. um, after you get done with that lease or something. So, and it sounds, it, you it know, sounds do a as lease though- purchase. It sounds as though you guys help us along the way so that we won't we won't fail at it, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So um when we started MT Select, all we did was lease purchase side mm-hmm. and then we started this lease side and it's been a lot more um popular and a lot more successful um just because of the breakdown. You know, not having the, those big breakdown bills and you know, having to, to pay for that, you know, out of your pocket. You know, um, and uh, so especially starting off with guys who've never been owner operators, or you know, or maybe been in a been in a lease purchase and failed before, mm-hmm. and then they get in this kind of you know get their feet wet and kind of know how things going to run, and and then you can you know like I said, that's why I recommend the lease side first, uh, if, especially if you've never been you know an owner operator or have very little experience or. Uh, you know, if you had tried one and failed just because of that warranty on that truck. Um, yeah, you're not owning it at the end, you know, and you'd have to pay for it if you wanted to buy it. But you would get that experience and know how your 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 company would run, you know, and then you could say, all right, I know how things work now. Now I can go buy a truck and know how much money I need to put behind for for maintenance and everything else. So. All right. Well, you know what? I I do appreciate the time. I learned a lot in this conversation, so thank you very much. I will definitely take this information back to my partner and relay it over to him and the people in my Facebook group. So thank you very much, yeah, sir. Man. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. My name's Blake. So if you um want to go to – you can go to drive4montgomery.com and put in your application if that's something you want to do, drive for Montgomery.com, and uh, just put my name, Blake, on the application. Tell all your other buddies, just put my name on it, and it'll come right to me. I will do that, sir. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Call me if you need me, man. Yes, sir. So you know why we are different over here, why we do what we do over here, why we get the information out here for you guys so that – so that you'll know what these companies is about because i come across good information just like that mt select out of montgomery alabama make sure you guys give my man a call the information will be in the description below uh now, if you don't have flatbed experience, because it sounds like this is a flatbed company, they haul a lot of freight that you will have to learn uh, securement. Along that route, they will teach you. If you don't have uh, flatbed experience, they will train you in securement so that you can make sure that you will not fail as a flatbed driver. Uh, he said, come in as a company driver to learn the ropes. They do have a lease side, which is kind of like rent the truck. And they do have a lease purchase side. As he said, the difference is the warranty. That's the that's the whole difference. Uh, with the lease side, they have full 100% fuel and everything else that comes with the joys of leasing. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What's your thoughts on this call? Is MT Select a company for you? Are you a flatbed driver looking to get with a good company that has your back as MT Select has? If so, definitely give them a call. 
find out more what they're about, and let them know, you know, let them know that Lockout Men sent you. All right? Till next time, everybody. Y'all stay chill, and I'll come back at you with another one. <laughs>